Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Today I'm making these flatbreads from pearl millet flour which is bajra atta and I'm making these rotis with it. So this flour is quite difficult to work with normally especially if you're making roti with it. It's a sandy texture and it doesn't hold together. It has a grey green colour almost like cement and it looks like cement as well and it's also gluten free it's packed out with nutrients and is very good for us and also being gluten free lots of people are turning to this flour in the south asian countries it's especially eaten during the winter because it's in season then so all i've done here is i had one cup of millet flour bajra atta, and i boiled the kettle and i added a full cup of boiling water to the flour and then I've added half a teaspoon of salt and butter. Whilst constantly stirring I've added small amounts of water till it's become a pourable consistency and once there's no lumps left in there this is done. Here I'm greasing a flat non-stick pan. I'm pouring about a quarter of a cup in the centre of the pan and then with the help of this ladle I'm just going to slightly gently spread it around. Once it was on the pan I had to leave it alone, not touch it for a good few minutes until there's um, a dry coating over the surface of the roti. So when you touch it with your hand, it doesn't stick, it's dry. I've turned it over now and it's lovely and golden at the bottom, but it still needs to cook for a few more minutes because it's raw inside. When I turned the roti over a few times and pressed it gently like this, I noticed it started to puff up and that means it's cooked inside. So basically I had some bajra atta that I wanted to cook but didn't want to make it like they normally do in Pakistan that I've had there. They are quite dry and thick and cracked type of uh, thick flatbreads and they're very hard to eat and not very tasty so I just mixed some of the flour with hot boiling water added a little bit of salt and butter into the batter and made it into a consistency that I can pour then I just poured the batter for each roti on this pan and cooked all of them this way I can say definitely, definitely this is an excellent way to cook bajra atta, especially when you don't want to use any of the flours to make a perfect chapati. For example, some people use wheat flour, they use plain flour into the dough to make it stretchy so they can roll it out and not have any cracks in there. But if you want to stick to gluten free and you don't want to mix anything else in this uh, pearl millet flour, then this is definitely a great way to make them. After cooking the chapatis this way, they do stay quite soft. Just have to be sure that when we press down on the pan uh, with the spatula or something, that the raw um, batter from in between seeps out. So until that stops coming out, uh, we need to keep on pressing gently and turning the flatbreads around. And throughout cooking each flatbread, I kept the heat on a medium to low. These can be served with something either savoury or sweet. So I've got here some butter and honey and they went very, very well with that.
I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Do try it out and hope to see you again with another recipe soon.